next day and I've been up finishing cutting everything so I have everything cut out for the red ones. So I'm going to maybe start sewing those and then I feel like once I get these sewn then I'm going to start with the pink ones and then kind of continue. I kind of want to get like one out of the way completely and then move on to the next. So. Okay, it's been a few hours and I've been sewing non-stop and I have all of them sewn together. And I also have the hems um, surged. That doesn't mean they're fully done. I obviously have to do all the finishes and hem them properly and whatnot, but all of them are put together and ready to do that. I think I'm going to cut out the pink ones and do this all to them too and then kind of do all the finishes at once because they're all the same. So that's where we're at with it. I might stop there for today though, but very excited. <music> Hello, good morning. It is the next day. I know every single video I've made, I literally am wearing the same thing over and over again. I literally just don't ever change clothes when I'm home. So here we are. Um, I've been up for a while now sewing. Yesterday we were moving my brother in for most of the day, so I really didn't get too, too much done. And today I'm going to go over there and help him out again. So I'm trying to take as much time here in the morning as I can. I don't know how much time I'm going to be there and if I'm going to have much time to do stuff afterwards so i'm trying to get all of these headbands done i have all the um other patterned ones done it's just these that i need to finish so i'm trying to get through those i'm like halfway through so i think i should be able to get them done here today i hope then i can have that out of the way and then all of my accessories are completely done because i have all the scrunchies done and i have all the other patterned headbands it's just these that i have left so then that's all out of the way but i also need to do my video <laughs> like i i've been filming all of this and i do want to upload it soon too but my hard drive ran out of storage so i can't edit i can't download my videos can't do anything so i just ordered a new hard drive so that i can edit my video and do everything because i also want to upload on my instagram like some cute little clips and stuff like that as of today i've posted um these three pictures so far those are my close-up kind of like teasers, I guess, because you can't see the full garment. But today I'm going to post one where you can see the whole one shoulder dress and kind of like start going in depth in my captions. But I do want to post some little videos and little clips. I just think that is always really fun to watch as well on Instagram and kind of add to the feed. So that's where we're at today. I'm just going to keep sewing. <laughs> So I went and got myself some coffee. It is um, almost done now, but I'm almost done with these headbands. But I was on TikTok because I like to get on it as much as I can just to like reply to comments faster, I guess. Because sometimes they just start getting lost in it because for whatever reason, my TikTok is actually doing really well, which is kind of random. I never really thought it would and I never took it that seriously. And now I am and it's doing well. So that's really fun. But this one girl just commented on one of my um, TikToks that I did recently about like my brand and she said next time I will see you is in upcoming brands in Vogue and that is just so nice. Like I have received such nice feedback on my videos and just on my Instagram people DMing me of like I can't wait to like shop there. Are you gonna ship like internationally and like I hope you ship to Brazil and like all these things and it's just so crazy to me because I have this low-key fear that I'm going to like launch and nobody's gonna buy anything and I'm just gonna be sitting here with the ridiculous amount of stuff that is just going to not sell and then I just start getting these comments of stuff and it's just so nice and it's really reassuring and even if those people don't buy because I understand like I follow a lot of brands and I don't necessarily buy anything from them but like even just that like social media support is a lot obviously like I personally don't have the money to be spending on all these small brands that I really want to buy from. I follow so many really cool ones on TikTok, but like I don't have 
Like I'm not at a place where I want to be spending money on brands right now just because I'm trying to put that money into my own brand right now. But even just that support means so much and I think that it can go a long way and that helps other people find them and whatnot. So I don't know, I'm just really, I'm just really happy and social media is really cool and I'm really hoping that I can reach a large crowd with this. It's so freaking cool. Um, yeah, I'm just very happy. That is all. Good morning guys, it is the next day and I actually got a lot more done yesterday than I thought I would. I ended up coming home semi early so I got some work done. So I finished up all of these yesterday. So those are all done now. All of my accessories are fully done and now I can just start sewing all of the dresses. So I have the pink one ready to start cutting everything out. And that is where we're at today. So hopefully we'll get ahead. <laughs> update guys this morning i ended up going to the post office to set up my p.o box i bought it online a few days ago but you have to go in person to like get the keys and whatnot so i did that today got that figured out so got my personal p.o box for business purposes now which i'm very excited about and i've just been here cutting the pink dresses i'm almost done i'm more than halfway through but they're so tedious to cut out just because i the way i have to like fold the fabric and make sure it's like lined perfectly and whatnot i'm excited we are making progress i'm finally starting to see a light at the end of the tunnel if you will so there is that hello so it's been a few days since i updated and it is june 20th today so today i uploaded my youtube announcement video which i'm very excited about i kind of just talked through the whole brand and just my thought process how it's gonna look all of that stuff but today i've actually gotten a lot done it's a saturday so i have the day to myself to actually do things so i have all of the red dresses ready to just be finished as far as like hemming everything but it's all fully surged fully ready to just be like pinned up and hemmed and done which is super exciting so i think i'm gonna definitely be able to finish those by the end of this weekend like 100 percent. and then i have all of the pink ones cut and pinned and ready to start sewing them so i just switched the thread on my serger and it went very smooth very good no problem so i'm just gonna go ahead and sew all of the pink dresses and kind of get them to the same spot as the red ones and i can just kind of finish them all at once is kind of where i'm at with it so i'm very excited we are getting somewhere with it i'm just pumped i've gotten so much good feedback over the past few days as i've been posting a lot which is very exciting and very awesome so i'm just feeling good about it but also the days are counting down and i am not fully ready so i need to get on it head on the dresses but I started looking into shipping because I announced today that it was going to be international shipping because obviously I have family outside of the US so I wanted to make sure that if they wanted to they could get a hold of stuff and obviously all of the rest of my followers who are also out of the country could also get stuff because I know I have followers around the world and I thought it was going to be an easy process to set up but turns out like setting up international shipping was actually so difficult and I'm really trying to get through it but there's a lot of countries that have really strict restrictions on what can go in and out of the country what documents have to go in with every package and all of that stuff 
So I'm going to have to exclude those countries. I feel bad for saying like shipping everywhere, but like it's not actually going to be able to be everywhere. It's gonna be like most places and I know it's gonna be pretty much every place that all of my followers are from because I can kind of see analytics of like my YouTube, my TikTok and my Instagram and see where my followers are from. Majority are from the places that I am able to ship to, so it should be fine. But I hope nobody is offended and I hope that there's nobody out there that wanted to make an order that I'm not able to send to their country. I think I'm gonna have an option of like, if your country is not available, like DM me personally and see if we can work things out. But as far as like a general shipping type deal, it is very, very difficult to set up. So I'm going to go through country by country, like all 244 countries, I think. I don't know if that is the exact number, but I'm gonna go through every single one and see if I can ship to it or not and figure out rates and everything but it is a lot of work so i really hope that if you are an international follower you really do appreciate the effort i'm putting into it i can now see why brands don't do international shipping like starting off because it is kind of difficult to figure out but i want to stay true to what i want to do and making sure that everybody can get a hold of it if they're if it's possible so that is what we're doing. I'm going to try to figure that out and just get that over with tonight so then I can just focus on sewing later because that's a little more um, relaxing per se than trying to figure this out. But that's my update on that. I'm going to try to finish this and we'll get back to you guys. I don't know how long it's been, but it's been a while. And I finally have my whole list of countries that I'm able to ship to versus not able to ship to, and I have it all figured out. Countries I cannot ship to are mostly in Africa and South America, Central America. For whatever reason, those countries have really strict policies, so I am not able to send anything over there, really. But everything else is pretty set in stone. Most of Asia is actually pretty good. All of Europe is good. Um, Mexico's fine, Canada's fine, um, most of the Caribbean islands are fine, so pretty wide range of stuff. It took a while to kind of price everything and figure out how shipping is going to work, but I figured it out, so hopefully if you are in those countries, you are able to shop and that makes you happy. I tried really hard. Um, hopefully I'm able to figure out something for the rest of the countries if any of you are from there, but for now I think that we will be good so I think I'm gonna just kind of keep going on dresses for tonight and then continue on tomorrow and the rest of the weeks on just sewing I feel like everything logistic wise is kind of pretty much done now so hopefully unless something comes up and that I haven't really thought about but we're getting there <laughs> day and I've literally been just sewing all morning long. I'm so close to being done with all these dresses. I just hemmed all of the red dresses and I ha well I have them ready to hem like I pin them and iron them all down and I'm about to just sew them all and then I'm gonna do all the necklines and then do all the armholes and then we'll be done with all the red ones. I have two of them completely done just because I was doing it at a different pace at first. Now I'm like no I feel like I should just do them all at once. Then once I'm done with that, I can do all the pink ones, which are also just ready to be finished and do like all the hems and whatnot. So we are getting close. I'm hoping to finish all of these today maybe so that I can just work on all the white one shoulder dresses tomorrow and Tuesday. And then Wednesday, I kind of want to just have everything pretty much done already. And Thursday I work, so it's not like I really have much time to do anything, but I think that I should be 
definitely done by Wednesday 100% so I'm excited I'm finally seeing like the end of this right now which is just fantastic and I can then start working on all the other stuff that I have in mind I literally have so much stuff in mind that I want to make so I just want to get all this over with so I can start making samples of all the other stuff that I want to do so yeah we are getting there it is the next day and I actually got all of my red dresses done yesterday all I have to do is put the tags on them so that's what I'm gonna do right now just to get those completely out of the way and then I can finish up all the pink dresses which I think I can definitely do today since I have the entire day so I'm very excited to get these out of the way I feel like I've just taken forever on them but also I just want to make sure that they're good so it is okay to take forever on them but also time crunch I am launching this Friday, but technically I'm launching Thursday at midnight. So I really only have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday since I work Thursday to just finish everything. And like, I know I don't need to have everything done at that point. It's not like everything's going to sell that day. I need to ship it out the next day. But like, I just want to get it done so I don't have to think about it. And I can move on to the next things that I want to make and do because I have so many things in my head. So that is the vibe for today. We're just going to be finishing as much as we can. So I just finished all of the red ones. They all have their tag on them, as you can tell by the little rectangle back here. I ironed them down a bit, but obviously I'm gonna re-iron them when I ship them out. But yeah, these are all done, very excited. I'm gonna move on to finishing all of these. I think I'm gonna start with the hems and then do all of the necklines and armholes, so. update it is now almost 1 p.m keep in mind i woke up at 7 and started working at around like 7 50 ish um the pink dresses have all the hems done and i just pinned and ironed down all of the necklines so those are ready to just like pass through the sewing machine then i just have to do the armholes and put the tags on them and then those are all done so those are definitely gonna be done today which i'm so excited about i got those out of the way the red ones are out of the way and then I can actually start all my white ones, which I haven't started and I have two days to finish them, but it's fine. We will finish. We are going to be okay. Those should be easier to cut out because the cutting layout isn't as weird as it was for these. And those are easier to sew just because the fabric gives me an easier time. And I don't have to interface them for it to lay properly. So it should be quick. I am excited to just finish and have all of this done and then I can take some cool product pictures of just like flat lays and more stuff like that and kind of putting them all together on this rack I think would look really cool so yes very excited we're getting there but I'm gonna eat and then get back to work
Hello, it is a little bit later now. I just had dinner and everything, so it's about 8.30 p.m. And I finished all of the pink dresses. I just have to sew the tags onto them, so I have them all pinned and just ready to run through the machine. I wanted to get some, like, computer work done today, so I usually upload YouTube videos on Tuesdays. That's, like, my upload day, even though I really have been very inconsistent over the past two months, but technically those are my upload days. So I wanted to have something ready for tomorrow, and I kind of started editing a few days ago but I never really fully went through with it and like finished it so I want to do that tonight so that I can upload a video tomorrow I have obviously been filming this video of me kind of just showing process everything behind the scenes and it's definitely going to be a bit of a series maybe like a two to three part type thing just because I do have a lot of footage and I don't want to cut down too much because I really do want to show the full process for everything so I'm going to start editing that today so that I can kind of figure out how many parts it's going to be in and get the first part up for tomorrow so that I can start kind of promoing it, kind of showing you guys behind the scenes on stuff and have it be a little bit more like, I don't know, up to date, I guess. So I'm gonna start doing that now and hopefully I get that done. And I have a few other things that I want to kind of fix on the website slash kind of figure out because there's a lot of things that I still need to figure out like subscription emails, stuff like that I wanna figure out as well. So it's just gonna be a computer type of night.